Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's about 38 degrees outside. So it is way too hot in Sydney today for my liking. I'd much rather stay indoors. So I thought it was a good day to go through and explain the color grading tab or the color grading wheels in Lightroom, which is a pretty new addition to Lightroom. It was added in at the end of last year. So if you're unfamiliar with it, this would be a really useful video to get your head around it. It is a really powerful tool. If you're familiar with split toning, of course, this is like an updated version of split toning. It's like split toning on steroids. There's lots of different options there. So I'm solely gonna focus on this color grading tab, show you how you can use it to edit your photos and explain what each of the options does. I'll try and keep it short and sweet. I've also got the files that I'll be editing today available for download so you can follow along if you wish. I'll be using Lightroom Classic today. This color grading wheels are exactly the same in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. So it doesn't matter which one you're using, you should be able to follow along and learn how to get the most out of this tool. That's enough talking, let's get into Lightroom. So with Lightroom open, the first thing you wanna do, of course, is click on color grading, this tab here. And you'll notice these three color wheels. With split toning, we used to just have shadows and highlights. Now we've also got midtones. A quick refresher if you're not familiar with this, of course your highlights is going to be those very brightest parts of the image. Then you've got your shadows, which will be the darkest part of your image. And then your midtones, which will sit somewhere in the middle, that area of your photo that's not too bright or not too dark. So the color grading wheels essentially allow you to select individual colors to add to each of those different areas of the photo. You've also got the option here to play around with luminance for each. Luminance is basically how light reflects off color. So it results in it kind of looking darker or brighter. You can see they're playing with the shadows. It's kind of darkening the shadows or really brightening the shadows. To show you what each of these do, let's go ahead and make this image black and white. Now you do have a couple of different options of how you wish to view these wheels. The basic one where you can see all three, click on those, you've got your individual ones up the top here as well. You've also got this new one, which is global, which allows you to add color to the overall image. Let's go back to where we can see all three. I'm gonna add in really heavy color just so you can see how it affects the image. So in the shadows, let's just go and add in a lot of purple. I've got that all the way up to a hundred. You can see how it's just added that color into the darkest part of the image. Compare that to the highlights. You can see in those brighter parts of the image where I've added in 100 saturation green, you can now see that area is green. Likewise, in the midtones, you can see kind of those in-between areas added in a little bit of blue as well. Now that we've got some color in there, I can show you what blending does. So blending basically means how quickly it's gonna blend from one of those colors to the next. At 100%, it's basically just merging the two. So it's a bit more like split toning as it used to be. And then down at zero, you're kind of more sharply shifting from one color to the next. So balance, as it suggests, is basically the balance between your colors. You'll kind of shift more towards your shadows as you bring this to the left. Or if I push more to the right, it's going to be that color that I added in the highlights. So lots of different options there. You've also got this little eye, so you can kind of see before and after of just that one color wheel. So that gives you an overall rundown of what each of these wheels does. Let's reset this image and edit it properly so you can see exactly how you can edit it photo using these different color wheels. With this image, let's start with the shadows. I'm gonna open up just the individual shadows curve so you can see it a little bit clearer. So for me, typically with shadows, I usually like to add in a little bit of blue or aqua. So let's go about there on this one. If you know a particular hue you like, you can just type it in as well there. You can also type in your saturation. There. Another handy thing to know, if you hit command, you can kind of just scroll around the wheel and pick the color you like. And then if you hit shift, you can just control the saturation or the intensity of that color. So this is really handy to know. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly to navigate around the wheel. So for this one, let's go about that level. So luminance on this one, I wanna make those shadows darker. So let's bring that down. You can see how that's really affected the shadows there. So for the midtones again, keep in mind, this is usually skin tones. There is a little bit of skin in this photo. So I'm going to go for more of a yellowy orange color on this one. So let's go about there. And the luminance I'll have a quick play with. I'm just going to leave it about there on this one. 
Now usually for my highlights, I do like to add in a little bit of orange to the highlights. I like this kind of feel, but I don't want to make that white snow too yellowy orange. Don't want it to look like someone's peed in the snow. I want to make it feel nice and cool. So I'm going to add in a little bit more blue into my highlights there. So probably about there. And let's just shift that luminance a little bit, maybe bring it up a fraction to about there with that one. And now we can play around with our blending and balance. For this one, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit to the left. You can see that just brings a little bit more kind of orange back into that face. Balance. I'm going to keep bang in the middle. So if I turn all our color grading adjustments off, you can see before and then after quite a moody edit there just from editing the color grading tab. To complete this edit, I probably would go ahead and maybe just turn down my blues a little bit because I like that kind of desaturated blue look. And then I'd probably come up to the tone curve and just play around with that a little bit, maybe bring up a little bit of a fade, a bit more contrast, bring those highlights up just a fraction. So you can see that just from color grading and the tone curve, I really like that edit and it's really simple to do. So let's come across to another image. This one here is quite different. It's a lot warmer. It's a lot darker than the previous image just to show you different examples of what you can do. For this one, I really want to make the orange kind of glow behind Corey here. Shout out to Corey. Now, I really want to make that glowy orange stand out. Glowy orange. So let's start with our shadows. Again, typically for me, I like to add in kind of some blue aqua to those shadows. I'm going to make this one more towards purple than I usually would and then just play with the luminance a little bit. I wanna keep those shadows nice and dark. So let's just bring that down a little bit and jump across to our mid-tones. This is where I wanna to start to bring out that orange. So let's pump up those mid-tones. Now this is much, much heavier than I would usually edit when using color grading wheels, but it will show you how you can use them. So you can see there already, I've really made that orange stand out. I'm just gonna increase the luminance a bit on this one, I think, yep just to make that really glow. Let's jump across to the highlights. Again, more orange. I really wanna make this one stand out, but I'll bring it a little bit more towards red there. And again, luminance, let's just bring that up a fraction. So you've got this area that's really kind of glowing nicely. Let's play around with the global. You could go one step further and add in kind of a little bit of color there as well. Let's just do a fraction on this one. Luminance. I'll just bring up the overall luminance a little bit, turn off the color grading tab. That's a really kind of heavy edit already. And I've only adjusted this color grading tab. So it is a really powerful tool. To complete this edit, I probably would go and adjust my colors a little bit, maybe just turn it down a fraction and then go and adjust the tone curve a little bit as well. Because I made it so dark, I could lift up those shadows a bit. And a quick before and after, majority done with color grading. You can see how much of a difference that's made. The last example, I just wanted to show you how you can be really subtle when adjusting your portraits as well. Color grading, my adjustments are usually pretty subtle compared to the last two where I've done really heavy just to show you what you can do. So let's start with the shadows again. And of course, you guessed it, I'm gonna add in a little bit of blue to the shadows. How did you guess? Luminance, I'm just gonna bring down a little bit, darken those shadows. Let's jump across to the mid-tones. Again, skin tones, just be careful. Let's add in a little bit of orange into these ones. And then luminance, I probably don't wanna to change too much. I'll just bring it up a fraction. For highlights here, I'm gonna have a play around. So I'm gonna hit option, which means I can kind of spin around the wheel and see which looks best. And for this one, I'm actually going to add in just a little bit of purple there. You can play around with the saturation. So let's play around with the luminance. I like how that white stands out a bit more as I bring that up. So I'll bring that up to about there. And now that I've adjusted those three, let's just have a look at the blending. I'm gonna keep that pretty central balance. I'll just drop down a fraction towards those shadows. So on this one, as you can see, that's the before. That's the after. If anything, it's more of a color correction on this one rather than a heavy color edit. So you can use the color grading tab to really create a unique and kind of moody or heavy edit, or you can use it just really simply to kind of correct color as well. So there you have the color grading wheels within Lightroom. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate the support. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see you here very soon.
Bye for now.